Hello and welcome to today's video. Okay, in today's video we're gonna be looking at how to install Office 2016, the latest version, in Windows 10, which is also the latest version. It's a very, very straightforward process. Um, you just insert the DVD or if you've downloaded an ISO from online, okay, and you've got your license number. Okay, all you really need to do is, okay, we'll just show you. On this PC, basically, you have your DVD drive inserted or the ISO mounted. All you need to do was just double click on the ISO and it comes up like this. Okay, some people have some problems. Um, what we have seen is if it doesn't recognize the correct processor, just click into the office box and then choose if it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit processor. Okay. Otherwise, normally, basically, all you really need to do is just double-click on that and it starts running. Okay. When it starts running, it comes up with this. You just click yes on it. Okay. We won't because we've just already done that. And then you'll have an orange box that says getting ready. And then it moves into this stage and it just starts installing all these programs. Okay. We'll be back when it's at the next point. Okay. And now once it's finished, it does take some time, obviously. And then you click close and office has been installed. Now, You'd need to, shall we say, set it up with the product key. Okay. How do we do that? Um, just very simply, you could, for example, open up Word. Okay. If you cannot find it on the list, type in Word. Okay. And then go for the Word 2016. Okay. Now it comes up with enter your product key over here you would need to enter your product key with your letters and numbers you should have it either by an email a piece of paper etc etc maybe it was even with the box in the product you purchased okay i'm um, like a new computer for example all right okay we will enter our product key and we should show you how it looks once it's activated okay after that's gone through, we then have this, accept that, okay. And then basically, if you really want to take the full advantage of uh, Microsoft Office, you might want to sign into your Outlook account, etc., or Hotmail, kind of the old style, or depending on what you have. And then you can sync documents back and forwards. And then we'll just open up a blank document to give you a quick run through of what your new Office 2016 should look like. This is the new interface. It's quite nice. Looks quite nice over here. It's running a little bit slow on our system because we have multiple operating systems running at the same time as it's a server. Okay. And there we go. This is what's there in Word. Okay. Hopefully, that's nice. Then we'll just do Excel or PowerPoint. PowerPoint and Excel for you guys. Okay, and choose anyone. Okay. There we go. And this is the new interface for PowerPoint 2016. Okay. Information, slideshow, review, view. Okay, just whilst we're here, just how to check to see if it is activated. Basically, you go over here and it should be that one. 
where it says product activated. Okay. And then if you want to do any updates, you can update. If you want to sign in, you can create your sign in over there. Okay, as promised, just the last one thing. We'll just go to Excel. There we go. You have your templates that you can search online and also that come pre-installed. Okay, fairly similar to 2013. It's a little bit more crisper on. Okay, you can obviously have your OneNote synced up and everything else. And hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.